Skywalker Return of the Jedi Heavy Dueling Lightsaber from Damien Saber. This is the first replica lightsaber that I've ever had. So I don't have anything to compare it to. I've never had one of the Galaxy's Edge lightsabers. I've never, you know, had any of the other lightsabers made by any other manufacturers. So again, nothing to compare it to, but I am thoroughly impressed by this Damien Saber lightsaber. This is not a sponsored video. I was given this lightsaber. The lightsaber actually connects to your phone through an app. The app can kind of be wonky. I'm sure they will work out the kinks, but, but right now it's a little wonky. It's a little unresponsive at times, but you can control a bunch of different things on your phone. The color of the blade, the brightness, the sounds, the sensitivity, that kind of stuff. It makes it convenient, again, when the app is working correctly. I love the fact that you ignite the lightsaber by doing like a little wrist jolt. It, it just makes it fun. You you disengage and, and engage the lightsaber, you know, pump, pumping your wrist. It's, I don't know, it's fun. I probably did it 50 times when I first turned on this thing. Just sitting on the couch going bang, bang. The sound effects of simply moving the lightsaber is really impressive to me. There's really great humming sound effects. It tracks your motion so well. I didn't even know something like this existed to tell you the truth. That's one of the things that has impressed me the most, the, the way it can track your motion and spit out sound effects that, you know, correspond with the motion. I don't know, it's, it's very impressive. The construction of the lightsaber itself is another thing that is very impressive to me. It's made out of metal aluminum. The blade is super sturdy. There's weight to it. My five-year-old daughter picked it up and the first thing she said was, it's heavy. Yeah, it's, it's heavy. It feels usable. It feels realistic. There's weight to it. There's clashing sound effects. There's a, a bunch of different... I mean, I feel like I've barely scratched the surface with figuring out all of the intricate details and modes that go along with this lightsaber. You can change a lot of the lightsaber settings with motion controls, like twisting your wrist when you're in a certain mode will change the color and the sound effects. Stuff like that. But again, you can do all of this through the app. You can pick from some of their already established colors and sounds that are built around actual characters in Star Wars, their lightsabers, or you can go into the app and specifically customize the lightsaber color with an RGB wheel. But of course, Luke Skywalker's Return of the Jedi Green is my all-time favorite lightsaber, so I don't think I will ever change it from that setting from here on out. Compared to a lot of other lightsabers, it's really not that expensive. This particular lightsaber is listed on the Damien Saber website for $199, but I've never seen it for that much. Like over the past two weeks or so, it's been at a steady $139 on sale. Uh, compared to a lot of other lightsabers, that's a lot cheaper, uh, way more affordable. My only complaint, and it's not really a complaint, but the learning curve is a little high, at least it was for me. It can be kind of confusing to use the motion controls to change settings on the lightsaber. It's very touchy in that respect. But again, if you have the app, all of that is so much easier. And, and you know, it's just a learning curve. Once you get it down, you'll get it down. But man, this is such an impressive and relatively affordable lightsaber option. If you're not devoted to like a certain manufacturer or Black Series sabers or whatever, then I would definitely recommend checking out Damien Saber. They have a bunch of other lightsabers too from different characters, different designs, not, not just this one if, uh, if you're looking for something different. Anyway, I just wanted to hop on and show you a, a neat little fun toy that I got. I'm planning on mounting it in my office on, on the wall somewhere, but I haven't decided if I want to mount it with the blade on or the blade off. You know, the idea of mounting it with the blade on is cool because it could be like a nice ambient light in my office, right? But I'm kind of leaning towards just mounting the hilt, having it be a smaller piece of an overall collage in my room, if that makes sense. Anyway, do you have a Damien Saber? Lightsaber? If so, let people know what you think in the comment section below. I'm sure there's going to be people that see this video and they might end up buying one and your comments, your, I guess, little comment reviews would be, uh, would be greatly appreciated for them. So. I'll leave some links in the description below if you want to get started and, and check out the specifics. But uh, yeah, man, this is fun. This is a fun, uh, really well-built lightsaber that I'm really enjoying. Hello, Greedo. Out.